All right. And I, I guess, I mean, you know, in one way, I don't really mind going round and round and round and round and round. Um, you know, I, I mean, I could, I could even be up for doing more well-researched topics. You know, once I get it really narrowed down, it's hard to know now. I mean, just people just complaining about everything, you know, my tone, my mental health, um, you know, just everything. And it's like, why, why, why? you know, can you let me de defend my dead husband for God's sakes? Um, you know, June 26 is when it will be three years since he passed away. And, um, jeepers, you know, so, um, but, you know, okay. So the thing about my father and he was asking about the, um, um, the, uh, train. So he sent an email to all sisters and said, so what, what would you recommend? And he said it would save like $300 to, uh, drive. Here we have person A, my father, just about to turn 80. Person B, my mother, on 24-7 oxygen. So my sisters <laughs> said, oh, well, you know, uh, yeah, I think you'd probably like the train better. Another sister, I would highly recommend the train. I didn't answer, I didn't answer, I didn't answer. I'm typing, I'm deleting, I'm typing, I'm deleting, I'm typing, I'm deleting. About, about to blow a fuse, you know. But, um, so I just said, well, I think you know my opinion. Um, since I went through the process of arranging to get uh, oxygen on the train... So, um, you know, I, I guess it's like between the way the laws and the taxes and the, th there's a lot of things that there's a squeeze because the, the generation of seniors now like this who are complaining about prescriptions and they're complaining about $300 more for the train. And what is he suggesting? That my mother go without oxygen for like about 24 hours to save 300 bucks if the train... <laughs> and then who's going to go out and, and rescue them, you know, in the middle of the train track someplace or, or, or whatever? Oh, well... You know, that won't be the, that w <laughs> Um, so, I, I am willing to admit, I am willing to admit it loudly, that I am, yes, I can still love my parents. Yes, I can still be planning on taking care of my parents. Yes, I can still be willing to, go to the doctors for them and, and, you know, hear what the doctor is saying and, and, and arrange for oxygen to help them do this move and, and all that. Um, but they seemed, it's at least my parents seemed to then just, you know, oh, well then I guess somebody has to fly out to them. Like, like on your visa, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> Like, we're still of the generation that we're still paying, like, $12,000 for health care. And, and I'm still being taxed on, like, if I have a good year in the stock market. Well, this is my pension plan. But I'm still being, like, walloped uh, with taxes when I have a good year, which I'm supposed to have a good year because that's supposed to be how pension plans operate, you know, that they increase and that they're going to sort of guarantee you an income as long as you don't take out too much. But then you have to pay, you know, um, you have to pay property tax for the, for the local schools and, and all that. And, and, um, and then now the parenting generation, they squeezed us early, you know, no summer camps and no things like that because they were saving for the retirement. They, they have saved. You're like 80 years old and stuff. You have saved. You have savings. You <laughs> 
So, um, yes. Am I irritated with the mentality of some seniors? I mean, now let's switch seniors. Let's switch to my aunt who you've seen in a few photos. I am going to go on another vacation with this aunt. She has two sources of income. They're both, you know, I mean, one is the social security and one is something else small. So, um, she has this, this habit, which, you know, I know, I know now she likes to, she lived in France for a while. She likes to experience tastes of things and you know, it's kind of a good idea, actually, if you, um, you know, each split a dessert and each split this, then you can have a taste of this and a taste of that and all that. And so, okay, I'm, I'm kind of geared up for it. But because she is on, you know, a limited, she's one of these people that some of you are complaining about. But, 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 there's this one and there's that one and there's this one that are only living on um, uh, Social Security. Yes, but my aunt lives in a very very low priced area in the West. And she, she knows how to, she knows how to do things. Use coupons. I mean, and so she's not hungry or anything. Um, you know, she doesn't have those problems, but anyway, but she likes to travel. So what is Laurie doing? The Laurie that you have all come to like, you know, terrorize. So Laurie decided that I wanted to go to Hawaii, um, and I wanted to go for an extended time, so I found a place on Airbnb. At first, I was looking just at a, you know, hotel room, but because I found a place on Airbnb, and it has six beds, I said, well, it's a good price. It's a good price that kind of is comparable to me being in a um, hotel room for a while, and now I've got six beds to offer. I bought my ticket to Hawaii and I then I announced I'm going to be in Hawaii, you know, for an extended visit and I have six beds, you know. And knowing that, you know, not everybody else can just, you know, do this kind of thing, you know, I said if you can get yourself to Hawaii, um I've got the um the room covered and I've got the car, which will be like a four-wheel drive car covered for the entire time and I even uh, said to my aunt I'll buy the food for the house so you know um, the government does not always have to get involved with things like that if if family members are seeing that yes this family you know can do this easier than that family member and all that okay so this is what I was able to do in that uh, scenario. It did not require Obama or, you know, any, anybody to do, do anything. I decided to do it. And so, um, so I don't know, you know, <laughs> what's left? What haven't I covered? Um, uh, we have to, we, in our country, in the United States, we have to be careful with turning on the spigots of money flowing from the federal government. Um, there are times that we need to, but it may sound like a good idea to, you know, give you know, free coffee, free swimming pools, free, you know. I, it, <laughs> there could be lots of things that sound like a good idea. Um, but if I'm being really honest, I'm about ready to have somebody in Congress come up with some kind of idea that would actually bring some sort of a freebie my way. I've seen them go all over the place. No, but really, I think I would just rather um, sort it out, you know, not explode things that are needed, but sort it out so that Things can run efficiently and effectively. And then, you know, I mean, there's just some things that get caught in a political system where then they go to run for re-election. And if, if they ever, ever, ever uh, said no to, I mean, you know, I mean, it literally could have been a bill that said, you know, each veteran is going to receive, you know, I mean, it, it just... I don't know, you know, um, 
but if a politician said no to that spending, then the sound bites, the 15 second sound bites that are played after the, you know, when they go to run for re-election, it just, it ends up destroying them. And so there's a lot of programs that, that get funded and, you know, people like the buzzwords, you know, the, um, you know, people like seniors and people like vets and without anybody spending that much time thinking about, well, what are we actually talking about? You know, spending, um, and again, we have states. Do we still have states? You know, um, but like, a, you know, Republican Reagan made a federal Department of Education. That used to be done at the state level. So, um, so when people say that they want to get rid of the Department of Education, there are some people who react by saying they want all students, they, 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 they want no education taking place anymore. You know, our country is not super duper old, um, you know, and it had its roots with like one house school rooms and one teacher and, and things. And, and um, we had some of these things long before it ever made it to the federal government level. And it probably was more efficient and effective for the community. Um, not all communities are the same. Communities need different things and blah, blah, blah. And I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying stuff that are, that's just really logical. So I will have no understanding as to how to, you know, do any further videos if you think that I've said anything out of whack here. So I don't know. Okay. Bye-bye.